Good afternoon, students. Hello. This is geography subject supplementary question exercising lesson. Let's do questions as follow. Alternative one says that choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. Question number one which of the following is known as the fairest continent following the cosmic rock solidification at about 4600 to 3900 mega new a baltica b rodina c siberia d gondwana land students Remember what we have learned in a class. Rodina was the first continent that was formed following the solidification of cosmic rocks at about these years up to 6,900 mega new. So the answer for this question is B. Question number two. In which of the following era was Pangea formed? A. Precamperian era. B. Mesozoic era. C. Paleozoic era. D. Cenozoic era. Pangea, the supercontinent, was formed during the Paleozoic era and the tb comes disintegrated into two during the late of cretaceous period mesozoic era so the answer for this question is c the correct answer question number three question number three says that air this continent have retained their present position during which of the following alternatives? A. Tertiary period B. Late Cretaceous period C. Quaternary period D. Jurassic period Students, the present land retain her position during the Cenozoic era period during the Quaternary period. So, the answer is C. During the Quaternary period of Cenozoic era, the Earth's continents have retained their present position. Good. Question number four. Question number four says that blank is the moving apart of continents. Initiated by sea floor spreading at mid ocean ridge locations. A. Drifting theory. B. Big Bang theory. C. Continental drift. D. Oceanic crust. Do you try? Let me give you one second. Good. Student, if your answer is correct, write your answer. Okay. Continental drift is the moving apart of continents which initiated by sea floor spreading at mid-ocean ridge locations. So the answer for this question is C. Question number five. Which of the following is correct about the principle of superposition? A. It asserts in an undisturbed sequence of sedimentary rock layers. B. The overlying bed is older than the underlying rock. C. Layers of sediments are originally placed horizontally under the action of gravity. D. A rock. A rock 
layer that cross cuts another rock layer is said to be younger than the rocks it cross cuts it says so the answer is a why b is not b is not the answer because it says the overlying bed is older it says not older it is younger than the underlying rock why c is not c is not the answer the reason is that layers of sad layers of sediments are originally placed horizontally under the action of gravity it says so it is not narrating about the superposition rather than it is about the horizontality d says that a rock layer that cross cross cuts another rock layer is said to be younger than the rock it cross cut it says what it is talking is about the cross cutting principle so cross cutting principle so it is not the answer the exact answer is a good i think you have understanding students let's continue question number six which of the following is a stable element a potassium 40 b argon 40 c carbon 40 d rubidium 87 students before going to answer the answer it is better to see this table this table is classified into three into the parent isotopes which means parent unstable daughter isotope which is stable half-life okay so uranium 238 rubidium 87 potassium 40 and uranium 235 carbon 40 are unstable isotopes whereas the answer argon 40 is the stable element the stable element so the answer is b argon 40 is a stable element stable element stable element question number seven blank is occurred when elements recombine to form new minerals during the process of metamorphism it says a isotope b radioactive decay c stable element d all of the above it says students do you remember what we have said in a class good so radioactive decay is occurred when elements recombine to form new minerals during the processes of metamorphism reasonably the answer is b radioactive decay question number eight of the following one is not the sample rocks and index fossils used for geological dating purposes which one is it it says a trilobites fossil b ammonites fossil c gluconite fossil d chronoid fossil it says the answer which one is not sample is that trilobite fossil is a fossil that used to dating 
Ammonite fossil is a fossil that is used for the geological dating. Gluconite fossil is not a fossil, it is a type of rock. It is a type of rock. So the answer is C. Chronoid fossil is also fossil as a result. Of the following one is not, which says, is that gluconite fossil is not the sample rocks and index fossils used for geological dating purposes. Good. Question number nine. Which of the following is not categorized to the geological time before the emergence of life on Earth? A. Hadian. B. Archean. C. Proto Proterozoic. D. Phanerozoic, it says. The era that do not categorize under the eras or the geological time before the emergence of life on Earth is Phanerozoic. So D is not categorized under the emergence of life on the Earth. Before the emergence of life on the Earth. While Hadian... Archean and the Proterozoic are the geological time exists before the emergence of life on the Earth. Well, question number 10. Which of the following, which of the following era is known with the formation of crystalline basement complex rock? which is rich in metallic minerals, that it says. Good. Students, do you remember that? We have said, well, we are resting the four major geological time scales. Paleozoic, I mean Precamperian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, from the largest and the oldest two, recent and the youngest. So, basement complex rock or crystalline basement complex rock was formed during the Precamperian era. During the Precamperian era, the recorded events are one, orogenesis, the formation of mountain processes, and also, these igneous rocks or basement complex rocks where takes place. So the answer is C, Precamperian era. Another question number 11. Which of the following era is identified with, with the dominancy of ancient life such as trilobites and Shelled animals. This is A. Precamperian era. B. Paleozoic era. C. Mesozoic era. D. Cenozoic era. This is so. The ancient life, such as trilobites, shelled animals like Inselbergs, were dominant during the Paleozoic era, which is known as ancient life. Paleozoic era is known as ancient life. So the answer is C. Question number 12. Question number 12 says that of the following geological time scale, which one is the smallest unit time of the era? A. Aeons. B. Eras. C. Epochs. D. Parades. This says Good. So, what we are asked is the smallest unit time of the era. As a result, these are epochs are the smallest, whereas aeons are 
the longest. So the answer is C. The answer is C. Our answer is C. Thank you, students. Thank you. Don't forget subscribing, share, like, and comment. Goodbye, my students. Goodbye.